Whoa. Yes. Okay, I love you so much. Oh, shit. And you see? Guys, we have another one. Listen. This is a, this is a joke. Really nice. <laughs> this is the sunset, and today we are going to get some squid. Yay! So, hopefully, it will be a nice uh, afternoon or night. I don't know. It's calm, the conditions are perfect. Let's hope that the squids have the same opinion. So, Let's go and oh sh oh shit oh 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 <laughs> guys this is definitely a viper that's a big viper I'm not in the mood to disturb it whoa can you see it stays totally still because vipers rely on their camouflage, they're not fast uh, snakes and uh, it's exactly like uh, as I said many times, we must always be super careful when we walk especially during afternoon and night and uh, I think that oh, I'm, I'm a bit confused because I would step right next to it better have my headlamp and watch carefully yeah it's not the best thing uh, starting your day and facing a a nose horned viper vipera modites the most uh, toxic viper in my region let's forget this incident and let's focus on our squid fishing so guys here is a bit deep it's about uh, 15 meters so I want uh, a long cast and I want a faster dive this is why I'm going to use the supercast eggy the ND model normal dip that uh, I think it will do the job perfectly we <laughs> It's amazing the casting ability. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Yes. La la, hello baby. From the last moment, very close to the shore. We very very smart strike. <laughs> Ridiculously close <laughs> to the shore, but. It's a nice start for sure. It's not a. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, it kept the water inside all this hour. <laughs> you bastard. Okay. <laughs> so, guys. Uh... I know that most of you like to go fishing for squid in the ports where there are lots of lights and uh, yes I agree that squid fishing in the port is really convenient and of course with the lights you can see the lights are gathering bait fish and the squid come after that yes but the problem with the ports 
is that there are so many people. <laughs> Sometimes you go to the port and it's a, it's a war. <laughs> you see 10, 20 or even more people casting eggs. So what are the chances to, for, for you to get the, the squid? I mean, uh, if you divide uh, the hunting uh, squids uh, to the people that are fishing, uh, hmm. Anyway, for me, I like squid fishing in the port, yes, but it's not what I prefer. Pure rock. The reason why I love rock fishing, rock egging, let's call it, is simply because I'm alone and all the squid in the area are mine. <laughs> Nobody around, look! And sometimes they simply are a bit out of cast. Some meters more and you can reach them. Because there is the drop or maybe there is the Posidonia or whatever. Sometimes you really need a long cast, especially when you are fishing from shores or in shallower waters. And in general, a longer cast gives you more territory to cover and of course more time your eggy in the water. In saltwater fishing we all need the longer cast we can achieve, right? Same goes with egging. And that's exactly the reason why I made super cast eggy. You are going to love this eggy lure and I promise you that it has probably the longer cast you ever had in an eggy. The casting distance. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Love from the first cast. Believe me. <laughs> As you can see, there is no lead external, so all the weight is inside and it moves on the back during cast and then it returns in front. It's not going ever to happen for the weight to stay in the rear part and go down like other similar uh, squid lures promise that they cast far, but yes, eventually the lead, uh, the weight stays on the rear part sometimes and they go down and they snag. This is not gonna happen with Supercast Eggy. And the name says it all. This lure has reached 70 meters of casting distance with 0.5 braid and 0.22 leader, of course, with the long eggy rods. So you can expect how far this baby can go. It simply flies, no turbulences on the air. It simply goes without a stop wherever you cast them. First of all, the lack of the lead in front uh, allow it to jerk. Yes, if you jerk or twitch, this egg lure will do and it will jerk. Yes, simply because the lead acts like a pedal and keeps or forces the egg to dart always straight. But without the lead and with a small detail I did inside, this lure will always, when you jerk, it will do fap, 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 like that. It's amazing. The knock-knock system. That is that every time you jerk, you can hear a knocking from inside. Not a, la not a rattle, a knocking. Listen. This pulse gets the attention in uh, the surroundings. And squids are very well equipped to also recognize pulses and vibrations except scent and feel. Since we don't have a lead in front, we have less surface. And that means that during jerk you have less tension. So it's much easier <laughs> to jerk and uh, give uh, appropriate uh, action to the egg lure that will dart farther. For start, you are going to find five awesome colors that you are going to love. Two are 
for uh, nights without uh, moon or lights. The other two are with moon or near ports with lights and one is uh, all around and even during daytime. So Pink Chaos and White Spirit are ideal for nights without moon at all. And if you light them with a UV light, you will see crazy things. Pink Chaos is strong UV pink color and it has also red glow and green glow stripes, making a very strong visual effect. While White Spirit combines strong UV pink with very strong glow shrimp details. So both are killers for nights without moon. Then for nights with moon or near ports with light, we have the Ocean Candy and the Golden Nemesis. Both are fantastic. They do have some very minimal glow details just to get the attention, but the UV effect on these colors is extremely strong and believe me, don't be the persistent person that always wants to cast squid lures with a strong glow. It's not like that. Many times, I promise you, squids will attack in eggies without glow at all. Have the boga, that it's a very common uh, prey for squid. In Greece we call it uh, gopa, I don't know how you call it in your uh, range, but boga is the Latin name. So it's a very, very, very precise uh, imitation of that fish and it has some glow stripes on the belly. So you can use this uh, natural color during a night without moon, because it has the nice glow underneath. You can use it in nights with a full moon because it imitates normal colors. The NS is perfect for beaches and uh, shallower areas, normal to shallow, also ports up to 10 meters. While the ND is for rocks that you wanna go fast or when there are currents or if there is a bit of wind, it, it will cast uh, a bit farther, however, both cast tremendously far and even the 17 grams DNS casts farther from whatever you already used so far. This lure you cannot slowly retrieve on the bottom like we do with normal eggies for a cuttlefish. No, this should be used with the rod high with jerking or even with the rod low twitching and you will cry about how it will react. Uh, most lures, most eggy lures with a tip uh, of the rod low do nothing, but this actually jerks. So yes, I'm alone. Malalai! Rocks are the perfect place for uh, squid fishing because the squids love uh, the rocks because the rocks keep uh, lots of life and uh, during night they come from the deep to hunt. Oh my good rock, I love you so much. I love her. Guys, I moved shallower. Yes. So I'm going to change to the Supercast Eggy, the NS, normal shallow. It's 17 grams. So I'm going to try this one now to see what's going to happen. Let's see. Okay. Here goes nothing. Woo. Woo. Okay. Guys, we have another one. Oh yes, we do. Oh 
Okay. Hello. Oh, beautiful. Another one on white spirit. That gold and red and glow is a yubi. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yes. Really nice. Of course, on the rocks hides some uh, dangers. Uh, uh, you can get a snag easier. But usually the result pays off much better. So try not to be very close to the bottom. Try to be uh, some meters up. And don't worry because uh, uh, since the rocks are dropping inside the water, usually squids are in mid waters searching looking at the bottom and at the surface at the same time so you don't need to be very very close to the bottom besides on the rocks near the bottom there are lots of octopus and uh, i'm not sure if you want to get them with an eggy because uh, it's uh, <laughs> most possible uh, them to get you and take your eggy it's hard uh, to unstuck an octopus from a rocky bottom. Squids, uh, when you get one and it spits ink, at this moment, the area that you are fishing and you're casting is not the ideal because the other squids know that ink is uh, a sign of danger. So what I normally do is when I get a squid, I walk a bit and cast uh, uh, some meters uh, farther. But if there are tides, that today there are not, no problem because the tides will take the ink. So you can, uh, if you think that you are standing on a ground that is a good uh, place for squid fishing, you can spend uh, all night if there are tides, currents. Time to play dirty. I'm going to put the pink chaos. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, is this possible? No, this is not possible. <laughs> this is a, this is a joke. Come on, impossible. Guys, we have one more. And that's a nice one. That's absolutely a nice one. Ooh, that's a monster. Hoo -hoo. Let's put it where? Whoa, whoa okay. Ho -ho. That's a big one. Oh. Okay. You can empty your water. Whoa, yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, yes. Pink chaos. It's <laughs> It's the color to go. Especially when it's dark, it's killing uh, absolutely red glow with green glow and strong pink uh, uv whoa yes that's what i'm talking about thank you very much for watching guys see you soon thank you for your huge support 
and please don't forget to comment when you use this Egilurs or if you have already used under this video. I really want to see your comments. Thank you very much.